Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome to Dreamcore, which is a liminal space horror game where you get lost in a bunch of backroom style areas and pools, and hopefully you're actually alone and nothing else is in there with you. Ow. Did you really just have to toss me on the floor? So I came down a slide. I'm assuming it's the world's largest slide. I see something over here. I do want to kind of go down and check out that pool though. No diving. It is, uh... Sometimes games use filters wrong, and while this is kind of fuzzy, this is proper use of filters, I'll say. I keep feeling like I'm seeing something in the distance. You know, let's go down here. No climbing over railing. Yeah, I ain't dealing with that. Oh no, it's stairs. I'm going insane. Honestly, I, I, I can kind of see some of the spookiness of spiral stairs. I need to get a flashlight. I'm not sure if it's trying to say... Get one before proceeding here, or if the flashlight's going to be down there in general. But I, I have a personal story, I guess, of a, a grandfather's uh, old house. Which was always very spooky. And it specifically had, it had kind of a basement, but since the house was built into like a big hill, it wasn't a basement you could access by, like you had to go outside, because it's kind of like it was cut into the hill, right? The basement was accessed from the outside. And in the basement, there were circular old iron stairs that just led to like a dead end. And I always thought that, that's ah, kind of, it's kind of spooky. Huh. What's going on in that corner? I mean, there was some spookier stuff in that house in general, but that's... I'll save that for another video. It's just plants. In a very deep pit. Caution, stairway. Interesting. So the page for this game implied there could be something in these levels, but it, it could also be a specific marketing to kind of set the atmosphere to like, yeah, keep your eyes open, you never know. So we'll see, this one looks kind of nice. Like legitimately, this room looks pretty nice. I'm going to hear like a splash behind me. I'm curious if this is um, procedural or is this just, it's crafted. 
Because I'm encountering like a lot of level. Oh man, I don't like those stairs. Let's go this way. I have to beat this this game in so much time. The uh, the camera filter is destroying my file size. It's gonna eat through 200 gigs in about five hours. See, because here here's why I said that the filter is done right. Because see, like the plan in the distance, with the way they did the filter, you can't quite fully make it out. So it looks like it could be a person of some kind. Did I make it? Beep. Hmm. You don't really know. Like, that looked kind of like, like a level ender. But I was going up to it and I was hitting E or F and, you know, like the usual keys you would hit. Now that is curious. Too dark that direction, I don't got a flashlight, as far as I know. God, this place goes on forever. Here's the other thing I'll give him credit for. Level design. Like, the layout has been a little more eerier than some other uh, liminal space horror games I've played. Yeah, see what I mean? Like, I that's probably just a railing over there, but the way they did the filter, I can't quite... Like, it could theoretically be a person in the distance, right? Let's poke over here. Kind of dark and spooky. So far, we're okay. It might lead back to the pool area. I think I vaguely recognize this area. It just did like a little save thing there, right? Is it because I crossed a threshold into a different area? Or is it because I'm going the right way? Oof, uh, I thought someone was there for a second. Maybe I'm going the right way. Let's go back down here. Huh. What's this at the end? It's bothering me visually a lot. Is it just like a little water tunnel? Oh, I can crouch. Oh. Yeah. Huh. 
Uh. This looks promising. There's that exit symbol again. That must mean that elevators should be there, theoretically. Very dark. I came from here before. Yeah. But there should be something I need... Okay, so it's not procedural, that means. I'm missing something important, though. Because, like I said, I... Or it could just be I need a flashlight. To see, like, a button or something that's there. Let's... Try to make ourselves vaguely back to the um, the one area that was very different. Somehow I feel like I've missed the flashlight. Like, how would you know? Where, where would it be, right? Okay, I'm getting I'm getting the layout in my head now. A little how this area works. Well, there's a door here. Well, no, it's not a traditional door. It's just a... Huh. Haven't been here before. Looks promising. But this could also be leading back to the um, elevator area indirectly. No. It's all new. Reveal this to me. Dark hallway down there. This wall's over here. Huh. Bright light. Dead dead? No. Take note on that area, because there was another hallway down the other direction. So if we loop back, we would go down the other direction. Uh, maybe we'd find something towards that direction. I just said direction like five times. Maybe it was four. I just want a flashlight. This was kind of like the starting area. I kind of vaguely see something over there, but I don't think it's anything. I think we're looping back to where we came from. What am I looking at? Railing? Okay. I see where we are now. There's the, uh, exit quotation mark. So let's go back. There are stairs leading up. Okay. You might want to check it out. Why not? What 
could go wrong. Stairway use handrails. Stairway goes up. So our last sign of like drawn life was a thing saying about getting the flashlight. No climbing over railing. Let's kind of go this way because I think we've seen this before. But at the same time, I I'm seeing signs. Maybe that's a good. So he's a little spookier than usual. Huh. Was this area? Really bright light that way. I'm just gonna poke down. This looks kind of like a uh, abandoned mall. It's a door over there. I'm gonna kind of head back this way. What's with these plants? That's new. Stairways. Huh. So even when you boot up the game, it mentions something about, like, pay attention to, like, the sounds. So I'm like, is there a fret? Talk to me, it's okay? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if I'm too comfortable with that. I'm a private person. Very dark. I see a light at the end of the tunnel on the left. We're kind of making our way away from that text that was on the wall. But I didn't see a way to get to that text directly, and I'm not sure what this is. Big slide. Put on a happy face. Things are gonna be looking up. Put on a happy face. This seems familiar somehow. Hmm. Well, if I can't, I'd like to get to that text we saw. Because text, in a way, is like a sign of civilization. It means you're onto something, good or bad. Ooh, really dark up here. This is different.
Whenever I think I've found everything, it more keeps appearing. Huh. Curiouser and curiouser. Things are gonna shake up. Put on a smiley face. Big. I don't think the elevator was a um, level under. Because you found so much more. It feels like I came up too early to be one. Because theoretically, we're way away from that area. I'll take this one. Oh no, I can't slide? No! What am I looking at? Why is it like this so distorted? Is it just a trick of the lighting? Like how the lighting interacts with... No, seriously, what am I looking at? Oh yeah, I remember this area. I'm wondering if we hit the proverbial dead end of the, uh, the, uh, child care play area or whatever. Go right. Let's just leave me to the kid area. Which might not be a bad thing. I mean... This... Seems vaguely familiar, but I don't think we've been here before. I mean, we couldn't have. Also, is that a hard dead end? This is the first time I've seen... It looks like there's a stair as this man goes down. But we could be backtracking, because we're kind of moving towards the direction of that elevator. If we use the elevator as a mental locational spot, like a beacon on the map, and if everything's revolving around it, then like, like, like I said, we're, we're kind of going back to it. I guess you got limited sprint because my guy is tiring himself out. I mean, I haven't been here before, but it is just a variation of the pool area. It's like claustrophobic pool. Now we're going way down, which would take us back. 
who knows where. More pool. I think I remember this, right? Didn't I like look down there? I'm like, no, I'm not gonna go there. No, this is new. This could be good. This could take us to the uh the wall of the text on it. Let's see if we can go for this lower area. Uh, over here. I'm just going for it. Can't see anything. I'm just doing it. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is the area. Yeah, it is. See how roundabout we have to do to get over here? Talk to me. It's okay. Who's me? Oh, it's the, um... You might mention, like, oh, it's the underwater mall. No, it's a little different. Because the Underwall Mall had a door over there. That just has a door over there. But the um, day carrier was towards that way. Right. I might be tempted to take the other area down there. It's not in the stairs. But I'm going to poke my head on over here. Whoa! It's the world's biggest slide. It's like a sheer drop to doom. So I have some feedback for the developer. I would remove the um, air wishy sound from sprinting. I feel like you would have more atmospheric effect if you just hear the faster clonk, like bup, 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 echoing on the walls. Okay, I'm gonna cut left this time. We went straight. Right might lead us to an area we've been before, but left is a little interesting. Because once again, I'm, I'm mapping things as I go. And I have a, a pretty good idea how things are right now. I could be wrong. I, I, it could be towards a completely opposite direction. I've been through here before. Oh. So we go under that logic. I came from there. This area I came through once and I went straight. So the left would be over here. Right? Well, this just looks exactly this. Yeah, I think this is new because it's really dark. Whoa. Talk about stairs. Hope I don't fall down these stairs, bro. So 
So daycare is one of the highest points so far in the map. Now, is that playing because we're in this area, or is it because we're standing on top of where that monument thing was? No, this is all... Look, a save file kicked in. It's all new. Pretty good at navigating the back rooms. <laughs> I'm also wondering if the game is semi, not so much procedurally generated. But here's another fear out of what they're doing here. It could just be one linear map. There could be like a hidden checkpoint factor where it's kind of readjusting the map and loading a new map as you reach certain points to encourage you to kind of go into areas. There is thing definitely there. And yeah, the music is permanently stuck. So like it's just it's unique to this area. It's not just we've clipped into an area that has music. I guess that's... Maybe that's just the railing lighting flashing? That's what I mean. The way they've done the filter is purposely doing like a mirage effect. Huh. Or elevator. Huh. Let's go back. Yes, we're gonna take the long walk back. Because... The music stopped. Okay. So my logic is, it's either we went, we're supposed to go down this tunnel, or we gotta go back, cut left, at another location. Because I think that other route near the elevator is just gonna take you back to the pool zone, or some variation of it. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So, this area is... This is the ever underwater mall area. This is the one, the original one I found a long time ago. Because I mentioned like, oh, there was an entrance in the back that was kind of dark. That That's that entrance. So we've essentially made a very interesting U-turn. But I did kick a save in. Implying something of some importance happened. Whether that's, this is kind of interesting. We discovered an area we're supposed to. Maybe we're supposed to discover enough of these kind of unique areas where it's like furniture. I don't know. There's got to be an end to this, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to find it to the way this game is structured. I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's it's true liminal space. Like, it's not just, here's some pools. Like, it's got the correct liminal space architecture. 
quotation mark. I'm hearing the music, so that's a good sign. Oh, this music is a little bit different. Now, if I upload this and this music's copyright or something, because some vintage songs are, you're not going to be hearing the music, obviously. But this song is playing is the one that is in the trailer of the game. And I'm seeing a light over here, that's a good sign. Got it. Oh my god. I finally have a flashlight. Now darkness can't stop me. Well, that's a little worrying to me in some ways, too. So let me think. We came for that area, right? You know, I'm not really sure we're actually where we are. Maybe the elevators will work for us now. I mean, this is a new area. I haven't been here before. Super stairs. Okay, I see where we're going back to. Hey, buddies. This chair. Those flashlights gotta be for something. And not just like, oh, you can see things now. Um, I feel like it's, it was some form of objective. Please shower before entering the swimming pool. One's longest hallway. Okay. I'm gonna poke down here real quick. Cause it's kinda dark. Although I think we might be going the wrong way. Okay. We're here. The wallpaper zone. The smiley face zone? That one just damn moved. This way or that way? That looks familiar.
Herbus said we might have been for this area. Whoa! Well, oh, that's just lighting. I was like, oh damn! Snakes in the water! Well, it's bad as snakes in the plane. Reference. Definitely nearing the statue. So we're at the end of our end of the statue here. It means also near the one elevator. I will head back there with the flashlight. If I can get to it. Just to kind of see what's up. Whoa! Is this a drawing? But something I would not see without the flashlight. Huh. So there is some kind of... I mean, maybe it's not in this build. I don't know. Hmm. You know, let's crawl through here. This is new. Maybe it's just another uh, way to get to the monument area. Yeah. Okay, we completely scouted out around here. I've been here before? What's this? Yes. Go in here, it says. Like, there's actually legitimately an arrow that told me to go here. No! Wait, no, it's actually hostile. Whoa, God, it's like a giant spider person. Why did I agree to follow the arrow pointing me to the spooky area? That sounds stupid. I'm glad I persevered. Cause like, there's gotta be something more to see. Like, it can't just be all pools, right? Pools with railing zone. I 
Nice tree. Interesting shape of our door. Save file kicked in. Didn't that thing like kind of like dart into one of these areas? Let's go more towards this way. Arrows are pointing this way, though, meaning that it wanted me to go this way. Unless, here's my other thing. Those arrows are supposed to guide you to the jump scare zone. You get what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it gravitates you to this area, and it's like, hey, if you keep going down this area, eventually you'll hit the jump scare zone. Don't know. Don't know, no, 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 no. I prefer to deal with tubes. Metroid it up in here. Tubes. Yeah, I don't know if I'm making progress. My my map the head, the map in my head is kind of very spun around right now. Because the cusp is while that area was important, we did make some kind of weird story progress. We don't know if that was we don't know how no non-linear this game is, you get what I'm saying? So maybe you could be in that area very early and saw that encounter. But then but it's still not like the right direction to finish your journey or something like that. That that's kind of the the gist of what I'm trying to say. But, if I had to make any guess, areas that are dark seem to be more important. And one of those sketches on the wall had like a, a symbol, like an item that you could maybe find. It's like very octagony, hexagon. Literally, sure. I didn't get a really good look at before. Like, I went for the the, the arrow that says, "Hey, go over here." And like, oh, all right. Arrows would never betray me. <laughs> Okay, I see where we are. Remember we crawled under there? That's how kind of we got to this area. It's like if music's playing... You know stuff's going down.
This area is kind of dark and spooky. Is this where that thing crawled up? No, but this makes you think of, like, damn Junji Ito right there. What am I feeling? It? I still see the triangle doors, that's a good sign. Interesting. Plan. But it could also mean like... I'm trying to guess like, are you supposed to come down here and be like, Oh, plant, I'm gonna go down. And then see the plant? Or is it like more towards this way? Oh, plant, let's go over here. I'm gonna check this out, because this is very different. Yes? No, no, no! I've clipped for the map. I'm not sure that is the intention or not. Or maybe like they forgot to put invisible barrier, like literally. It's, it's, it's just very coincidental and atmospheric. It could be the case, unironically. <laughs> Yeah, we're still falling. I'm calling it. So, that's it for what I'll play of the Dream Core demo, anyway. There might have been an ending of some kind. Because it looked like they were kind of keying me in on, and it looks like maybe I was reaching towards something, but like... Like I said, I'm not sure if we were supposed to go through that thing and clip through the map and fall. Or if I just coincidentally found, like, an oversight by the dev that you're not supposed to go into, like, the slides. <laughs> but it was, like, too tempting. Like, the, the thing was beeping. It's like, hey, go into me. I'm like, all right. So we'll just call that my ending for the video anyway. I mean, the game's not technically fully done. I could always come back when the game is actually released. This was only encompassing like the first section of the game. Like it shows like a bunch of chapters. So thoughts, I mentioned during the playthrough, I feel like the whooshy noise when you're sprinting should be gone. It should just be silent. Just your steps, stuff like that. The, the echo adds more atmosphere. The level design and feel are very good. That's actually some of the better liminal space I've seen. And I think it's mainly because the filter is doing its job and the lighting. The lighting is really doing its job because it's not extremely bright. It's got like little dark corners, which is good. Because I think some of the liminal space, like the way people get scared of it, is there's a, kind of like a darkness at the edge of your vision. Like it's the stairs of nowhere or things like that. Sometimes if it's like a little too bright, I think you lose some effect. But if it's too dark, you also lose some effect too. So as far as making me actually feel like an, I'm in the liminal with like one of those photographs or something, I think this one does a better job than I've seen on the other ones. I um, also especially help that they're pretty subtle with the, the thing that's in there. We only encountered it once physically. We saw hints of its existence here and there. And the time we did encounter it, it was pretty freaky. Now, I would have liked to maybe seen it some more, and maybe if the developer sees this video, they can chime in saying, yeah, don't go down the slide, there was natural ending, etc, etc. And I'm, I wouldn't be opposed to coming back and maybe finishing it, especially if I was maybe close to some outcome. But if not, then I would just wait till the full release of the game and just, you know, do an actual playthrough of the thing. Because by that point, the bugs would be ironed out too, I feel like that's a positive. But yeah, anyway. So, thank you all for watching play the Dream Core demo. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.